Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are going to be looking at Big Kick today. Um, I've scaled the screen up so you can see it a little bit better because the UI is pretty damn small. Um, and yeah, here we go. So as you can hear in this track, we are using Big Kick. Um, I've got a sample section and a body and I'm just going to quickly go through some of the features on here before we start looking at how to make the, the kick drum. So it's not going to technically um, be making this kick drum. Uh, we're going to set up a, another one, which I think I've already done here, kick demo. Um, let me just scroll down here. I've recorded this twice. Uh, the computer has decided just to destroy the entire recording without my knowledge. Right, so we're just going to go here, factory reset. Right, so we've got everything there. Um, right, so we are going to drag, we'll just drag this section down here. All right, uh, so let's just listen. That's the default kick. Now in Big Kick we have a sample section which is this here and the sample is displayed here. Um, and then you have a main body section which is the oscillator and when you're editing this you get the representation here as well. Um, then you have the master section so if you click on wave we have some distortion tools if we click edit we have like a built-in equalizer um, and you can kind of boost its the punchiness of it or we can boost just the body of it etc etc um, so there's a lot of controls within uh, Big Kick. It doesn't look like there's much there, uh, but there is. So in the sample section, here we have a selection of built-in attacks for the kicks. Um, so if we go in and choose uh, Smash Kick, and then we can just cycle through them here. So let's use that one. Um, so we have a high pass. So let's just unsolo that. So we've just got the uh, the sample. Simple high pass. We have the decay, and we have the gain. All right. So that is it for the sample section. There is really nothing else going on apart from if you are going to edit the the sample section using this EQ here. I tend not to use that bit just because I like to put the process in within the mixer uh, view rather than messing around with the kind of the internals. Sometimes it does work, I use it for the punch. Um, so we'll get onto that in a second. So that is the sample section, but the other part of it is you can load a sample in here. So if we go to music, here, your sample library, just find your sample library in there. Uh, we're going to use the freshly squeezed samples, we're going to use the kicks. Uh, let's pick 17 straight in the middle. Now we have that kick drum in there, and because the high pass is down, we're just getting the full effect of the kick. Uh, but we want to use this as the attack on the body. So I'm just going to just high pass it a little bit so we lose that low end. Adjust the decay, um, and we'll not mess with the gain yet. All right, so that is it. That is that is the attack. There is nothing else to say about it. All right. So moving on to the body, if we unsolo that and just have the body playing, we have a section of controls in the amp section and then the pitch section. So the amp, we have the attack, so we can have more click, or we can have no click and just a huge body. Uh, hold, let's just put this halfway again. Hold will tell you how long the sample's held. So we get a really nice full fat kick if that's what you're looking for. And decay does exactly the same, but hold will add to that length. Um, essentially decay is obviously the part where it starts to decay from its full volume to the volume set where you want it to go, whereas hold is where it's going to be held at that decayed level, that kind of sustain level, should we say. All right, so let's just make it so it's a nice, tight, punchy low end. So I'm 
just uh, putting up the hold here. So there's a bit too much tail, so I'm just going to reduce the decay. Okay, so we'll leave it there for now. We can do the tweaks later. Uh, pitch, we have deep con curve on this section, so let's just have a listen to what they do. So essentially, it is stretching the oscillator. So you've got your standard kind of oscillator sine wave. And then you've got that really low subby feel to it. Let's have a look at what the curve does. So it's basically like uh, pitch modulation there. So that's just giving us a little bit more oomph back into it where we might have taken it away with the attack here. Um, we'll look at this uh, original and touch in a second. It kind of just emphasizes the body. Um, I just leave it on the original uh, and then we have start time and the note so if we just take note uh, pun in, unintended there uh, take note of the original key which is G uh, we have G1 already selected we can choose a preset note here or we can tune it specifically ourselves just by sliding this around but we are in the key of G so we know we're in tune with the, the track and that is always the best starting position for your kick drum. Never just throw one in there and hope it'll work. Sometimes it will because you'll have picked the right one in the right key, uh, but always make sure you know what uh, key it's in. All right, so the start time. So we have a very Psytrance-esque style sound there and we have a really low sound there. So we want it somewhere in the middle, so we'll put it where it was originally. Uh, time. So basically uh, it's how many milliseconds uh, the oscillator is going to last for I think. I haven't worked with this too much so don't quote me on that but you can see it's uh, letting that body stretch a little bit more there. It's like a lot longer and then this is focusing on nearer the fundamental of the actual uh, frequency. Oh, we seem to have lost it there. Just wait for this to come back on. We just had a little bit of trouble with this computer recently. There we are. Uh, seem to be maxing out on it. Right, so the that's the main body there. Uh, then we have this original and touch. So let's just have a listen to what that does when I switch the body mode. So essentially it's just adding more like this curve does, but it's like an instant thing. So I'd rather have it on original, so the original uh, generation of the sound. Um, if you're doing some side trance, that's going to be a brilliant start for you, uh, but we're going to keep it on original. So I'm just going to put the curve to about nine o'clock-ish, um, and then that is it, that is the sound. So let's just listen to the sound with the sample on top. Okay, so too loud. So let's have the gain reduced. Just gonna have a bit of a tweak around with this. Okay, let's just have a listen in context. Um, let's just go for everything. All right, so we've got a good sounding kick there, but let's have a look at what else uh, Big Kick can do within um, itself. So on the let's, let's go to the way first. So we have uh, five different distortion modes essentially so I tend to use clipper the most because it gives a nice overall warmth rather than more of a distorted sound so you'll you'll see what I mean in a minute I'll turn the drive up and you'll see what it does to the sound so drive mode for um, distortion so you get that classic distorted sound if you go to dirty more in the upper mid section then you 
kind of uh, I don't know what kind of kick drum you'd be making there probably some sort of hard style and maybe even Gabba territory uh, which I have done in the past if you want to see a video on that one day let me know uh, put a comment in the comments below and let me know that you want to see some hard styles or some uh, Gabba music then we have hum which gives it almost a human sound and then we have clipper and as you can see it just boosts rather than distorts until you get right to the top so with the drive on here I'm gonna have this to about just before 12 o'clock and um, you've got the option to basically reverse the phase of it as well uh, but we're not going to touch that so let's close that down so that is the distortion section regarding the body um, and then we have basically the EQ uh, so mid frequencies mid gain we've got the high gain well the high shelf should we say uh, the cutoff and we've got punch and then we've got body gain high pass sample pitch velocity sensitivity uh, pitch if it's fixed or if it's MIDI so it'll follow the keyboard so it'll be pitched differently so if you did it on pitch so you'd have like, let's just use two octaves so you've got it opens up possibilities but we're just gonna have it fixed on every note on the keyboard um, and then tune attack so sample pitch uh, we can change the pitch of the sample that we've preloaded in so if we know it's in the key of F, we'll pitch it up to the key of G because that is what we're in. But I'm not too worried about it because um, it's got a high pass on it and I'm not really using too much of the body of that kick. So let's just get that back down to zero. Okay, um, so let's just have a play around and you'll hear what is going on. So if you look here, you can see down here that we've got the hertz at where we are. So we can go right up to uh, 6,000, I think that is, uh, with my glasses not on, and right down to 50. So we can use this to boost the body as well as the punch and the body gain here if we wanted to, or we can use it to boost the mid frequencies as it is intended for. So I tend to put it quite low down use it as a bit of a boost let's have a listen to the high shelf so that is relating uh, mainly to the sample because that is the upper part uh, we've got punch so I'm just gonna add a little bit more punch Basically what you do with this section is you would play it in context with the track and then you'd adjust it But I'm just showing you without any other stuff on there to Cloud what I'm trying to show So cut is I think basically it's taking a position here and the width of the position as you can see it's editing up here it's taking away that first part so you're just getting a really low end like more offset so there's a, there's a track by uh, Ojan Nilsson that has, uh, it's one of his newer ones uh, what's it called simulator there's a very deep low kick uh, it's got like a really sharp attack but the body seems to tail off after um, with a bit of a delay and it's, it's, it's stuff like that where you can achieve that with a little bit of EQ in after so let's have a little bit of body we'll leave the cut there let's increase the body gain so we'll have a plus one because as you know we've already used this area to boost so the high pass can be 40 kilohertz 30 25 or off so we'll just leave it at 20, uh, it was at 35, 30 hertz, wasn't it, originally. Sample pitch, uh, velocity sensitivity. So we'll have it, we'll just have it off. I want it to be perfect. All right. 
um, and then that is it that is everything um, you've got the file to access the banks of presets so we've got trans here you can see Nick Sentinence uh, we've got some side trans there some hard trans uh, Freemasons there cut line so there's all different ones there that you can do you can go over to plugin boutique you can buy packs probably for like five or six pound and get some other kicks but what's the point when you have samples already and you can just load them into here and then generate a body for them it just seems to make more sense um so with regards to it comparing with kick two kick two is how can i describe it it is a lot more beefier there's a lot more control over the kick uh, it has a lot more going on i think you can have three sample layers in that one i haven't used it too much yet uh, i've only been using it in demo modes um, but with this uh, i think it's about 40 pounds so it's, it's slightly shy of the big kick uh, the kick to price tag which i think is 50 pound at the moment um and it's, it's worth the money i actually got this free free of charge because uh, it was a christmas deal uh, so i didn't have to pay for that at all so all in all brilliant investment i didn't have to pay a penny um so let's listen to that in contract uh, contact contact contract context of the track i've mixed track and context there uh, i need to go and go lie down for a little bit right okay guys let's have a listen to it in context Okay, so it's got quite a bit of power in there, it sits in tune, but it's a far fetch from what I have here. So in order to make this fit, now I will tweak in context. So let's listen to that in conjunction with the other kick. So in my opinion, that's actually sounding better than the other one. Um, I'll give you a quick bit of uh, background on this. The kick was originally through Metrum. It was really, really weak. So I used kick two, uh, kick two, big kick to make this kick. Um, and now we're on this one. So I've got two to choose from now. Um, also the I think it was the hats and clap track it just decided to unload all my samples so I couldn't remember what I'd used so I'm rebuilding that as well but other than that the track is finished um, I will show you some more of this track in the next video that will be coming up in two days time uh, it's gonna be a bonus video and it's going to be something that I can give back to you guys um, as a thank you for getting me to two and a half thousand subscribers and still counting it's still going up uh, Facebook has kind of exploded at the moment uh, just surpassed a thousand likes on there at the same time I got two and a half thousand subscribers so to say thank you for your continued support there is something happening with this track uh, all will be revealed in two days time so keep your eyes peeled it's gonna be the bonus video for the week uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, uh, hit subscribe if you're not already here in the community. Hit the bell icon so you can see when I upload because sometimes I do these videos where I throw one out on a Monday or a Tuesday. Um, I do usually upload on Friday, uh, apart from this time where the project decided to destroy itself, uh, which was mightily annoying. Uh, and then just follow me over on Facebook. That's where I put all the free presets. You'll see them pop up on here from time to time, but it does take you back to my Facebook page to download. Uh, apart from that, uh, I'm over on Instagram as well. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.